bit. Hello, people on YouTube. This is Catherine Jedi, and I finally moved into my new apartment. Da da da. Green in the kitchen. Blue and gray. Oh, mostly blue. Oh, there's me and Masaki when we went to a festival. So now for the grand tour of where I live. My unmade bed, which will stay like that pretty much always. My table. My garbage can filled with crap and hair. Lamp. Another lamp. Now to the kitchen. Little French garbage can. Toast oven. I just bought that like five minutes ago. Little ice cooker. All the green stuff I bought. Stove. Bananas. And now for the bathroom. Blah, blah, blah. Bathroom. Actually clean. Which is amazing for me because if anyone's actually borrowed my bathroom before, you know how absolutely gross I can get it. But that's why I have someone to help me. Roll clip here. <laughs> I'm taking video. Mm -hmm. Look at that my fucky work. <laughs> 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 I think it's cute. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. To clean the room is very important. You know I absolutely hate cleaning. Mm -hmm. mm. Your doesn't like. No, I don't. <laughs> I need a housekeeper. <laughs> so now that I've moved to Tokyo, you might be wondering. What might you be wondering? Ah, yes, have I come up with any new things that have caught my attention? Well, I keep telling myself what's that smell in the hallway. Because for some strange reason, someone always is cooking something very strange. Like it smells like baked fish and soap. I don't know what the hell that is. I, I'm constantly smelling it. Well, um, I've also been getting a couple emails or private messages, and, uh, let me see, um, someone wanted to know, number one, I always get this question, and why am I in Japan, how did I end up in Japan? Okay, so once upon a long time ago, when I was a dumb high school student, like many other dumb high school students, I was really into anime, and so I got it into my crazy head that I wanted to come visit Japan because anime is so cool and you want to see like that world. Okay, first off, quick reality check if anyone's coming for that reason. It don't. Japan is absolutely nothing like that. And I emphasize, except for the school uniforms that they really wear. But truly, nothing like that. <laughs> um, it's like, Japanese life actually can be very quiet, and uh, sometimes a little boring, so it's like, you know, it's kind of calm, interesting, but it's not what you think it is, if you, if you, if you get your ideas off anime. Alright, so, then I grew up, or I, then I became a university student, and after my first year of university, I realized I didn't like anime that much anymore. I didn't play that many video games. I kind of got over that whole thing. But I still had planned to come to Japan, and I I essentially just planned it out. Um, I graduated uh, 2008 in April. I looked for a job. Three weeks later, I was employed. I got a job. I came here. And uh, after that, that's pretty much how I got here. Um, why? Because I had planned to come when I was younger, and it was just one of those things where I had planned to do it younger. And I just stuck with it, regardless of how my my opinion of the whole Japanese culture had changed. Actually, I was completely wrong to begin with. And um, even though it's absolutely nothing like anime and nothing like that kind of culture, you might still really find yourself enjoying it uh, here. It's, it's an interesting place. It really puts a lot of things into perspective. Uh, second, uh, people have been asking me if I am Japanese. And no, I'm not even kind of Asian. Nothing against Asian people, I just really am not. Uh, I think I've gone over my ethnicity in other videos, but if you don't know I'm Hispanic, I think I've come up with this like a thousand times. I'm actually half Cuban, a quarter Colombian, and a quarter Italian. Okay, we've gone over this. 
All right, um, close, uh, yeah, uh, who else, somebody else. Do I miss my hometown, a.k.a. Miami? I think I've gone on many rants about Miami and how much I don't miss it. I do miss the food. I miss the food, and I really miss my family, and I do miss my friends. As much as I was one of those people who said, oh, I don't like my goddamn place I'm leaving. I'm not going to miss Jack. Get me on a plane right now. Uh, I, I, I do. There's some parts about Miami I do miss, you know. Admittedly, I don't miss the assholes, you know. I mean, just like asshole country. God damn. I really don't miss that shit at all. Uh, but besides that, you know, everything's been okay. You know, um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, yeah, uh, Masaki is my boyfriend as of now, if, you know, just in case. Like, people have been asking me in previous videos, and actually, we hadn't officially started dating, but if you can just assume we hang out all the time, so yeah, I guess I upgraded him from friend I hang out with all the time to friend I sleep with, and then after that I upgraded him again to boyfriend. So, pretty much dating exclusively, yeah, I have a new boyfriend, yeah, I'm dating a Japanese guy, cue last here. No, it's not like that at all. I see one thing I hate, I'll, hold on, I'll get right back. One thing I absolutely hate about a lot of the people, a lot of the things you read online is, um, there's this really, really, really dumb idea, I don't know who put this forth, that, uh, Western men dating Japanese women is going to work out fantastic, but Western women dating Japanese men never works, blah, blah, blah. Alright, let me put this straight. Number one, everybody who says that is a dude, you know, I think, okay, yeah, there's maybe one woman who had, like, a couple bad problems. There are culture clashes, but so it happens the same with Western man and Japanese woman. It's not, like, different, okay? There are certain roles that both sides kind of semi-expect you to do, but at the same time, they won't because you're a foreigner. But you have to realize that, you know, there's there's things that are different in the culture. So whatever conflicts are going to happen, they're going to happen whichever gender you are, regardless. Um, admittedly, yeah, Japanese, some Japanese are workaholics. But you're not going to find everyone is, but there are a lot. And it isn't easy to date anyone, man or woman, that, it, you know, doesn't speak the same language as well or has kind of cultural barriers, okay? This happens to both sides. So I'm sick of hearing crap like... I always read this online. I always hear, like, people always saying this. Oh, dating Japanese women is so easy because they love foreign men. All right, that's not exactly a lie, but it's not as easy as you would think. Actually, Ragery made a pretty funny video about it. But, uh, yeah, no, it really isn't. Uh, people have had all sorts of problems. Uh, the same way that many people go and they find their true love and they get married. And it happens the same way with foreign women and Japanese men. However, there are far more foreign men in Japan than foreign women. So... There is, a, of course, you would think that because most of the opinions you hear are from men. Now, anything else that people have asked me? Hmm. No, I didn't rape Kenta. Uh, actually, he's in university now. Um. Yeah, I do have a big butt. I think I mentioned that already. I'm going through my comments, my most recent comments. I wanted to do the Fluffy Bunny, but I hate those marshmallows. I like, uh, there's a certain brand of marshmallows, but they don't have them. They don't have them in my grocery store. Anywho. I, and for the last time, people always ask me this. Am I drunk while I do my videos? I have never been drunk doing my videos. I've been really tired, and I've been really sick, but I've never been drunk yet. I should be on one. I might make a video later where I'm drunk, but that's it for now. See ya. This has been brought to you by Seth. Ding!